Don't point your finger at me at the start. Sorry. Oh, no, I just was going to say, didn't you have a game for me or something? Oh, the game was how about we just be silent. <laughs> it's, not great, it's not the greatest game for a podcast. You don't reckon? Mm. Should we play the silent game? Maybe you should. No. I'm scared this will be too hot. Oh, no, I'm so scared. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> the coffee woman said to me, she said, do you want it hot, hot, or just warm? And I said... Oh, I'll change it up and I'll just have it warm. And she said, good, so the coffee will actually hit your veins. Is that a yes, thing? Yes, she said, so the coffee will actually, like, hit you. Is that a thing that hot, hot coffee doesn't hit your body? Uh, it, it, it has to, mate. Sh- should I Lugal? Dior. We've got a Dior, don't we? Yeah. So. That seems, it feels like coffee would hit your body no matter how you insert it. No. <laughs> Insert. I just don't know if insert was the right word. No, to it use. wasn't. Um, but I respect it. Yeah, coffee. They do coffee enemas. Uh, what? They do coffee enemas, don't like they? That's like another. a jab. No, like a up your ass. Oh, f- an enema, dude. That's where they flush you out, isn't it? That's right. I've got the right word. Is it? Oh. Yeah, an enema. Isn't that a colon? Colon cleans? No, I've done a colonoscopy. Yeah. But we not. An enema is where they. Haven't you had one? No. A full clean out? They do, it's like detox. Oh, that's called a colonic. Oh, colo- what's an enema? Sounds like a superhero. An enema is something you put in your ass. Josh like, just has like a colonic. Josh just has fun with an enema at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not my enema. It's a friend, not an enema. <laughs> yeah, what did you say that took me so long in the coffee shop? Oh, we were talking about death metal and how you hate death metal. And I said, what, well, do you like a live wood? <laughs> it's the opposite of death metal. Yeah. Alive, death, mm-hmm. metal. Have you used that one before? Never, but it took you a long, long time. I enjoyed just standing there looking at your fucking cogs turn. Hey, did we figure out what an enema was? No, we wanted yeah. to know if coffee hits your ba- ba- veins. Okay, well, firstly, an enema is an injection of fluid into the lower bowel by way of the rectum. Right? So I was right. Yeah, we'll give you that. It's like a, a you know, like a power wash. But yes. Two points to Gryffindor! You know, on Harry Potter. Fuck. It's going to be one of these <laughs> ones, they go, one Two of points to Hufflepuff! It's going to be one of these ones. One point deducted from Gryffindor! <laughs> Speaking of oh, Gryffindor, well, Harry Potter... I watched um, Afterlife again last night. Yeah. I'm obsessed with that yeah, show. Yeah, it's a piece of show. Eh? It's so funny. Yeah. And um, obviously Mr. Finch Fil- Filch is on it. Correct, as Ricky's dad. cat guy from Harry Potter. And um, one of the scenes they said, who would you pick as your top five dead or alive to come to a dinner party? Mm. And I thought that's a great thing for us to discuss. True. Who would Who's you? your top five? Well, obviously Justin Bieber. Okay, dead or alive, yep, yep, yep. Will Ferrell, just because he's so funny. Yeah. Um, Harry Styles. Um, uh, oh, Kristen Wiig, the girl from Bridesmaids. Oh, all these people are alive. I need someone dead. <laughs> they, they, they are. Elvis. Nah, I don't like my five. You go yours and I'll get some inspiration. Um, Albert Fish. General Mao, Stalin, Hitler, Jeffrey Dahmer. Who were the first three? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's good stuff. Um, Albert Fish, notorious serial killer. General Mao, um, the Grand, was he called known as the Grand Chancellor of China or whatever? He had. Essentially, no. Nah, he was just the president, chairman, well, was, yeah, chairman and president. Yeah, he basically caused mass famine and killed, let's say, around forty-five million of his own people. How many? <laughs> <laughs> not not the podcast night. to get into this. Okay, so you're just yeah, having fair. all evil people around you. Who was my third? Stalin. Stalin. You don't know who Stalin is. Joseph Stalin? Think. Another Think. serial killer. No. Well, am I right? Technically, yeah, man. Oh, a, a terrorist? No. Don't. You're making me come off stupid. 
He was the leader of Russia in World War Two. Yes, I did know that one. So those are my five. No, be serious. <laughs> Tupac, Alan Jackson, Morgan Wallen. No, Luke Combs. <sighs> Combs, he'd probably make it. Can yeah. I come? Co- Can I be one of five? Not a fucking chance. <laughs> um. <laughs> Maybe like someone like fucking Marcus Aurelius. You know what I mean? You don't have any woman in there? And don't assume they're fucking genders. And um, who my fifth be? Me. You can't think of one. Pick me. Go on. LDD. Dior. Because I know he'd love to meet the people that I've met. So would res- I? Well, why? I would like to meet... You don't care about Luke Combs. Yeah, I do. Name Is one it- of his songs. My boots scootin', baby. <laughs> Drive <laughs> some crazy. Steps. <laughs> steps. Steps has some bangers. Steps do have some bangers. Mm. I'll, give, I'll give you that. Um, yeah, so... That's mine. Yours was shit. Well, I didn't have time to think. Yes, well, you I did. did. You had the whole fucking night and this morning and it was your game. <laughs> you had heaps more time than me. Well, I think I just have Bieber times five. Yeah, that's... I just get him morphed into him five times. Tell you what, there wouldn't be much eating going on at that dinner, would there? That if you had... F- we would have a succulent Chinese oh, meal. you'd be suck- Judge. Mate, if you had five babies. It's just dinner. You're not going to, yeah. It's just dinner, yeah. you sick of. It's a meal times five. Apparently, he's got quite the meal as well. Big beams. They call him big beams. You tell me if you had five beams, you wouldn't take it. If I had five Rosie Huntington Whiteleys, that's living. At dinner. I'm just having. One beam at a time. The three course meal. It's only three of the beams. No. <laughs> <laughs> Five mm. babies. Hey, you know, yeah. This is a delicious coffee. Good. Good. <laughs> good. Good. Yeah, okay. That was fun. Mm. Uh, what have you been doing this week? <laughs> Mate. We well, did. who recorded a rap video? We did. Guys, it's going to be actually really good. You, hey, <laughs> this is one time I'll accept Lou saying something's going to be really good. It actually really good. is going to be. We went all around, all around Sydney filming it. Look, I just think it'll be funny as fuck. To be honest, mm. I think it'll be funny. It, it, we were saying it's so much easier doing something like that when there's two of you. Like if it was just one of us in track suits, like with a Yui oh, boom, mate. doing a rap video, we'd be like, "This is so embarrassing." And dude, like, because yeah, because we're in public doing it, so like. You know, there's people about and you're walking along fucking like... Bondi r- Promenade. Yeah, rapping to a video to a th- song as well that sounds shit because it was sped up twice. Mm. It was sped up two times. Kudos to you doing that so quickly. The what? The sped up version. Oh, yeah, it was kind of hard. It was like a tongue twister for you. It was. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Shout out to Sebo from Breaking the Yips who yeah. filmed it all for us. But, mate, it was... um. It was a lot of fun. I think the bedwetters will get a real kick out of it. It's going to be a hoot. Hopefully with you next early next week. Fingers crossed, early next week. The first rap video, we broke our rap video virginity. Yeah, it, it, one of many to come. One of oh, We'll do one every year. Stinks of that, doesn't it? Can we do one for my birthday? Yeah, we can. Yes. That can be, oh, I was going to say that could be your present to me, but nah. You want a real present? Yeah. Something tangible? Yeah. Fair. But it could be part of it. Okay. And then maybe you could invite me to your dinner with the five dead people. <laughs> Some of mine were alive. Alan Jackson, Comsey. Me. And Dior. Can I come as your plus one deal? No plus ones, isn't there, Dior? Yeah, no, sorry, only five people. Fuck yeah, you we guys. Yeah, we did discuss that. This is ganging up. This is what happens when you're in a group of three. It's not fun because one person gets ganged up on. Because there's always two, two that are better friends. Is this what's happening? Yep. 
Kind of, yeah. Fuck, you got – that is true, though, don't it, you it, agree? That's true. I remember in primary school well, – How many school, siblings you got? Three. The same. Are you the outcast? I feel like I was. Yeah, because my brothers are closer in age. Well, mine aren't. I'm the middle. Oh. But they'd get, they could team up on me a bit better. Well, I'm the – Christopher and Matthew are two years apart, and then I'm like five and six years from them. Fuck. I spilled oh, coffee on the fuck. I spilled that much coffee on this fucking couch, mate. Um, it's always the. I remember in primary school, if there's three of you, it's like, oh, needs to be four. Needs to be an even number. Yeah, it's a weird, like, primal thing where you just gang up on the weakest. That's why you were ganged up on and me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think they ganged up on me because I was the strongest. They needed to band together. I disagree. They need to band together. Mate, you looked like a buck tooth rat from Ice Age. Wiry little cunt, though. You know, a bit of wire to me oh, and a lot of mongrel to me, you know what I mean? Us, us, us. You know? Papa. And Papa. they just had to gang up because I was so strong and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you were so scared. Everyone was so scared of you. <laughs> You'd walk down the hallways at school and it'd be like, oh, hide, hide your lunch. Yeah, Jarchi's like, coming. Big, big Jarchi's coming. Everyone, hide your lunch. No, that wouldn't happen. That would have happened. I know, that's surprising to a lot me. of people. That, like, would, yeah, that, that happened lunch. to you at school, literally. You're projecting onto me. Hide your lunch, fucking your lunch, Dalton's lunch. rolling down the hallway. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Give me your salt and vinegar chippies. What was your favourite? What was your favourite? Like, if you could pick one out of your lunchbox from school, what was your favourite snack? Oh, it's going to be a, a tie between a little snack or a roll-up. Good choices. I, do you know yesterday I was at the supermarket and I was grabbing some muesli bars and I thought... LCMs or roll-ups? Uh, like, did you see? Uh, well, I was just grabbing Uncle Toby's muesli bars, Judge. I'm not a child for my lunch. I don't yeah, need same. LCM. Yeah, that's, yeah, same. <coughs> uh, something in your chest. Sorry, just a bit of... But I did see on the row below the snacks. Did you not... I think I might go back today and get Dude, them. Do They're it. good. That cheese is surely just like butter. It ain't cheese. It's very plasticky, but hot dang, it's, it's good. good. Hot dang, it's good. You know what I like? What was yours? Well, our foreign listeners probably won't get this, but the Aussie ones will. Man, maybe Kiwis. Do you have Dunkaroos? I love Dunkaroos. Dude. They were the best. Fuck. And they were like, Where, it was we, like Nutella. It was Nutella in a little but tub. But there was a strawberry one too and there was a chocolate one. And I was, was the chalk girl. Chalk, chalk, chill. Do they still do them? I think they're extinct. A dunker is extinct to I you think all? they're extinct. Did you guys have um, iced animals? No, we mostly just had iced humans running, roaming the streets. No, these People were... People on crystal meth. I picked up on that one. Okay, got chips, sorry. Um, these were like biscuits, like your... Your super wine kind of biscuit with a colour and they were a shape of an animal, like a hippo or a giraffe or a, or a monkey. Yeah. And then on the back they had a coloured like icing, and they were phenomenal. I'll bring you some back from New Zealand. I love that because I'm going to. They do. Soon. They do sound good. Phenomenal, really good. Yeah, Lulu off to the homeland next week. Yeah, you excited? They're, they're still selling Dunkaroos. No, no, they're not. Oh, we're doing it. Where are they selling them? I don't know. Coles and Woolies and Mate, shit. Mate, next Tuesday let's do a live Dunkaroo. Did you get around Dunkaroos there or was that before your time? No, I got around them a bit. I was more of a Tiny Teddies guy. Love Tiny Teddies. Yeah. Tiny Teddies are good. Really good. Have you guys seen the new Twisties flavour? No. It's fucked up. It's what ra- is it? raspberry flavoured Twisties. But get fucked. Nah, sorry. I like sweet and savoury, but keep your raspberry to your drink. But hold on. Is True. this a Franco Spesh? This could be. We could be onto something here. Oh, are they, they onto something What here? would you put with it? Maybe the Twisties with Twisties and a Sam? Yeah. I actually, I take it back. I'm going to backtrack. I'm going to take it back, everything I just said. Yep. I get around that. I reckon it would be the perfect mix of like cheesy, salty sweetness. We need those. Yeah. We need them. I've changed my tune too. Just, uh, yeah, you can, can you taste it on your tongue? Yep. Same. It's really good, I reckon. It's all, I want it now. Because you wouldn't mass produce something that was fucking, oh, yes, you would. Yeah, you would. Well, New Zealand once did um, tomato sauce chips. How'd they go? Oh, well. Yeah. But then again, you think about it, those chips and it's like roast lamb 
roast lamb with gravy chips, and they're fucking phenomenal. Yeah. That's, if you fuck them up though, you're a dickhead. But it's weird how you can put any flavour. Okay, Jarch has just had enough of me and leaning back and having a big old oh, cheese dump. Oh, that was good. Um, but you can basically put any flavour on a chip nowadays. Yeah. It seems. You've got bloody raspberry, tomato sauce, a bloody, a whole, you know, I'd like a roast. flaky skin flavour. You're being very crude today. No, I'm not. Well, not crude. What's the word? Un-PC. What? Dark humour. That's the word. Flaky skin. You also said all those five people you'd have at your dinner. In jest. It was in jest. Well, it was comedy. It was, that's what it was I a call, joke. That's what I call comedy. A lot of others don't. No. A lot of others disagree. Yeah. They think it's not funny whatsoever. No. But it made me giggle. That's all that matters. It didn't make me giggle. Hello, fool. I can feel the coffee in my veins. She was right. You can feel it? The heat, it, the warmth does something <laughs> to you. <laughs> what are you most pumped about about going, going back to the fucking... New Zealand? Homeland. I'm really excited for some Macintoshes, those lollies I love. So Bring, say, are you excited to see Toby? Oh, fuck. Toby's dead. Toby's I forgot Toby was dead. I did say to Jarch at the coffee shop, it will be the first time that I've gone home and I'll walk through the door and that little four-legged cunt's not at the front door. <laughs> <laughs> but enough about Franco. What about Toby? Woo! Big J money's on one. Just kid, just go, coming from little side angles. You never know what's happening. Huh? It's, I'm coming from everywhere. <laughs> never know where I'm coming from. So, thank you. That reminds me of a great joke. Oh, can I not finish what I'm excited <laughs> for? Sorry. Sorry, Judge is just on so, one. Sorry. Must get his joke out. Sorry, please continue. We'll get your joke out. Is it quick? You do. You, you tell me and then I'll do the joke later. Okay. Don't forget it. I won't. Um, no, I'm, I'm, it will be sad because Toby's usually there at the front door, you know, sniffing around for me. Yeah. And he won't be there. No. And it'll be lonely because usually, like, Jill will take some time off work and we'll hang out and whatnot. But usually it'll just be me and Tobes at home. It, and is Jill still a dietitian? No. What does Jill do now? Some business thing. Now I should know that. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. Yeah, that w it will be weird, but still, be, it'd be nice. I, when I go home, it's like this. I ooze the sense of like relaxation. Like I'm just parked up on the couch. Jill makes me goodie plates. It. Uh, what I think happens to you, I, I feel this in my in my loins. Mm -hmm. You, you revert back to teenage Lou. You, Eight year old No, well maybe. Just without the timber. But you maybe you just kick back on the... You're like, oh. Jill's like, darling, can you just put your dishes in the dishwasher? You're like, oh, mom, fucking, I will. Uh. Like, what? Oh, uh. No, I'll go, I'm hungry. And she'll go, she'll go, what do you want? And I'll go, I don't know. And she'll go, if you did know, what would it be? I don't know. Surprise me, Jill. Uh, yeah. It infuriates me. Oh, does it? Your mum's about to make you something. No, but she <laughs> makes the best goodie plates in the entire world. <laughs> So it'll be like it's like a uh. it's like a it's like a half meal, half platter. So she might do like a, a like a half a sandwich cut up. Yep. And then she'll do like some like obviously little like gurks and cheese or something. Uh. And then she'll have something sweet there. Okay. And then maybe some like chippies or like crackers and cheese. It's fun. I'll I'll send you a photo. You'd I'm love a Jill Goody plate. I'm gonna have to come over and experience a Jill Goody plate. A jate. You're gonna you're gonna need a jate. You're gonna need a jate. Yeah. So I'll be excited for a goodie plate. And I'll be excited for some hot laps around Hagley Park. Maybe some fucking Kiwi bedwetters getting around you. That would be nice. You know. And then I'll do a couple maybe Pilates classes. Franco and I will go indulge and usually Franco and I go to the movies together. Okay. We like doing that together. Yeah. A few dinners. Perhaps uh, Franco and I will go out to the shooting range. Shoot some shit. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Um, and then I'll see a few friends. Chris, Bex. The others, girls, Mate, guys. you're fucking... Yeah, I'll just be feet up. A couple TikToks. And then when you're back? Straight back into the pod. Straight back into the pod. Well, I'll be working the entire time I'm there. Yeah, you'll be flat out, mate. TikTok doesn't sleep, mate. Well, Neither drinking, does the podcast. Lizard drinking sort of stuff. I'll be, be flat, flat, flat tack. Oh, mate. I'll be flat tack. If I know you, and I do, mm. you're going to be fucking flat out over there. You buddy. won't even get hold of me. No, nah, you'll be too busy, mate. Like you just work. You're a workaholic. I am. Yeah, I am. Y you are. You're a workaholic. I would do a pod every day if I could. You're a workaholic. It's a problem. By the way, I've nicknamed alcohol work. 
You know what? Screaming my name tonight. I can feel it. What's in my his name again? Ben. <laughs> You are on fire today. Thank you. You're quick. That, it's that coffee. It's the coffee. What, what I was going to say. That was a hot coffee. It's hit my veins quicker. Mm. Yeah. What are you Not like say? you, though. <laughs> I'm wrecked. It's up top. Nice, bruv. Nice. Bread. Um, the Rojo. Feels a Rojo night. Yeah, Mama's having a couple of drinks tonight, isn't she? Lulu's hitting the town. I think Lulu's hitting the town tonight, Crow. A little Friday Eve, a little Thursday night fucking Ooh. shindig. Ooh. Can't hurt, can it? I mean... What's a Thursday among friends? I am a little jealous. I know. Well, it's not long for you now. One week. One week, Dale. What's your first drink going to be? Whiskey. Mm. Num, because, num, you know, I'm part of this whiskey club thing. <clears throat> Ooh. They send you a bottle every month. So I've got a couple of bottles. That's fucking. so weird you say that because I instantly, my brain was like, fuck, I know what I'm getting jarts for his birthday. Whiskey subscription. True. But now you've got one. I do. Well, you could have two. Yeah, definitely. Nothing, Nothing you can't do. Two bottles a month. It's piss poor for you. Give it to me. I love it. You're like Thanos right now again. Correct. Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking. But do you know? I reckon, like, God, this is such a fucking cock sucking. Like, I've, my life's changed. Like, judge bullshit. It's actually embarrassing. And I've had a lot of people mention to me how it's all you talk about now. Oh, get miss me no, with that shit. No, I'm not kidding. People I know, who? people I know have said to me that. Who the fuck do you they, know that I know? They bump into you and you're like, "Yeah, mate, I'm off the grogs." It's the first thing you open with. <laughs> it is wrecked, loser. It's all you talk about now. You're that guy. I know. Literally, I've had a few people be like, "Yeah, Jarch." He every time I see him, he's like, "Yeah, mate, still off the grogs." <laughs> <laughs> Even Eddie and Burmo said it. You are that guy. I am. Loser. Fuck. I'm a fucking nerd. You are. But you know you what? Like preaching it. I've got nothing fun to talk to any cunt about. I know, you've got nothing. Everyone's like, oh, bruh, should Actually, have seen us on the weekend. We'll fuck. I'm like, yeah, I'm still off the Can I say something? <laughs> yeah. It's making the podcast a bit boring, you not drinking. You reckon? you got another week and then Mate, I need I you I reckon back. I'm slick. I reckon I'm sharp. I, I reckon I'm more back. focused. I need you back. You need me back, Roggen. I need some serious stories from the farms. Yeah, yeah. And I need you back, Roggen. Okay. It's work now. Okay. It's, 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 it's work. Yeah, look, I'm excited. I'm excited to have my, my whiskeys and stuff back. But um You didn't tell me your joke. You ready? Yeah. It's not really a joke, it's more of a yarn. I was walking home the other day, fucking blind, and I had this fucking um this duck on my arm. Walking home with this duck on my arm anyway. Found a duck. Knock on the door and I'm fucking pissed and bloody Miss opens the door and she goes, where the fuck have you been? What the fuck? What the fuck is that under your arm? And I said, this is the fucking pig I've been rooting. She said, that's not a pig, that's a duck. And I said, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> I was talking to the duck. <laughs> It is quite good. Thank you, buddy. I How long have you been thinking of that one? That's you just told a, that before. Oh, yeah. That's one of the old greats. Yeah. You are quite a, um, like an old dad in that sense that you reuse your jokes. You keep them up your sleeve. I treat my jokes like my condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Reusable. Yeah, reuse them. That's a joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but... No, but those sort of jokes are the ones you keep telling. You know? Yeah. Have you got a go-to joke? Knock, knock. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Is there? Justin. Justin. <laughs> Just in time for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually don't have a joke. Bedwetters, could you send in... Some DMs of jokes that I could use as my, like, go-to. Not super long ones. I don't want a long-winded one. Just a nice, like, 30 second a joke. Joy, did you hear, this isn't a joke, when me and D all went bar crawling the other day? We went for a little pub crawl. Not the other day, pre. When Without was, me. When I was drinking, yeah. And we'd go down this, like, it's like a speakeasy, like an underground bar. Mm -hmm. This fucking bartender had this monkey in the cage. And we're like, what the fuck? There's a monkey in the cage. And anyway... Dior keeps going, mate, what's going on with the monkey? The bartender's like, don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry about it. Anyway, Dior wouldn't, wouldn't let it go. He's like, mate, what's the go with the fucking monkey? And the bartender goes, oh, fuck me, Dad, I'll show you. Opens up the cage, hits the um, monkey on the head with a bat. The monkey pulls down his pants and starts giving the bartender oral sex. And 
I was like, holy dooly. The bartender goes, yeah, you want to try? And Dior goes, yeah, but just don't hit me so hard. <laughs> Is that another reused one? <laughs> How many you got up your sleeve? I reckon you've got, no, you've got a note folder no, of jokes. No, I don't. I'm actually not that good at coming up with my joke memories, my joke bank. But those are just good a couple. English. Thank you. <laughs> Great articulation. Thank you. But they're um, just a couple that are in there. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't even have one good joke that I could tell. What about like your fashion sense just every day? Bit of a joke. That's rich coming from the guy in a fucking shearing aviator jacket. Not bad. You off to fly a couple planes, are you? Yeah, she is. So what you doing after? Mama's back. You heading out to Botany? Yeah, she to is. To the airport? Yeah, she is. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. Bit of fire in your belly. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we do a segment of some kind? Mmm. Lulu go surfing on, on Google, Google Chrome. Chrome. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Um... Got a couple actual news stories, not weird and quirky, wacky ones. Yeah. This just jumped to mind because I'm obviously going back to New Zealand. Yep. So Air New Zealand has revealed um, economy bunk beds on their planes. $400 like extra on top of, so it's kind of like premium economy but one up. Yeah. What do you reckon about that? I, I'd do that. That's why I was about to say, I wouldn't mind it. I can't sleep on planes at all. Imagine a little bunk bed, you could make some mates. It's, You're in group bunks. Grunks. Could you show me... There, Jack, is the photo. <laughs> Jack. Jack. It's like I'm in trouble. Dude, they're fucking grouse. I know. Tore just texture. you. Of course you did. Dude, they're fucking deadly as. I would I definitely know. do that. I'd get around it. I'm a terrible sleeper as well. Mate. And on the plane. 400 bucks worse. for a four-hour snooze. Oh, so that's back to New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, I get around it. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, fuck, maybe not on a four hour hour If it was to a Europe. Fucking oath. You know, or somewhere long, somewhere far away. But They're not. You can literally lie flat. Yeah, that's that's what I need. Because I'll be fucked if I cannot fuck it. It's sleep like on those planes. buses you see in Europe where you're, you're all like on Kentucky and you, you sleep on the bus and they've got the little bunks like that. Or. Never done that. Or, neither have I. But, or when you're a um, big. Um, Oh, I've done a top deck. A big band on a tour in the 70s, and you have bunks like that. I just realised something. What? You say tour the same way as you'd say tour. You always say that to me. Do I? You're on tour. And then tour, Manel. Yeah. Tour and tour. But I wouldn't say tour. Yeah, correct. But you should. No. Yeah? No. Well, how do I differentiate? Well, I'm not saying oh, I, I'm going on tour. That's yeah, like well, <laughs> you never know. You could switch it up a little bit. People tend to experiment. So, well, I, I don't, and no, hey, I, personally, I see nothing wrong with that. In fact, I'm going to rally for that to happen at some point. I, no, <laughs> I've always said tour, like the band's going on tour. Yeah. But it, oh, poor tour. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say tour? Tour. It just sounds like you're trying to be fancy. But fancy? Did you see how you said fancy? Fancy. <laughs> no, that's just how Australians say to. But to I'm it. from New Zealand. I'm, I'm a- from the land of the long white cloud, Jack. Yeah, but. I'm not from Australia. It was a I'm simple from observation. Aotearoa. It's a simple observation that you say tour and tour. We say tour and tour. Cousy, cousy. Say love This is the day. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all about that. Okay. This headline reads, Willow the cat among awards finalists after saving the life of diabetic owner. How did Willow save its life? Um, so Willow's life. owner, Amanda, said she was very close to falling into a diabetic coma and could not have, and could have been in danger if it was not for her cat. Okay, but so she lost consciousness after going to bed one night with dangerously low blood sugar. Yep. She'd fallen asleep and I was woken up by Willow biting my legs and jumping at me. True. So the, it's, you know how like dogs and cats yeah, yeah, can yeah. sense when there's like a tsunami? Yeah. Or an earthquake? They can. Can they? Yep. And they can sense when like lightning's coming. True. And, and then, hang on. Sorry, <laughs> I just read one sentence in this article. I'm assuming this wasn't the cat. 
She was unresponsive and I called an ambulance straight away. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amanda, this... That sounds more like it. The cat did that? Mm. Well, oh, I've got it here. Ray Sherwood, which is Amanda's husband. Oh, okay. Had fallen asleep in front of the TV. The cat went and got Mr. Sherwood, tugged at him, <laughs> and then Mr. Sherwood called the ambulance. Gotcha. It wasn't the cat. Because I just had it. In my mind, I had a close-up shot of like a landline telephone and just a paw going, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Amanda. Well, is Ray there? Meow, meow. Right, I, no, we'll be over soon, f- f- freckles. See, see you soon, mate. Thanks for calling again. <laughs> <laughs> and freckles saves the day again. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow. Uh, meow. That's meow. usually not in the cat's wheelhouse. Usually they're like, don't give a fuck about anything, so that's quite nice. Yeah, they're quite promiscuous, sneaky little fuckers. Promiscuous? Well, they sneak out and root all night, don't they? There's a tomcat about. They get get to some fucking yeah. Goddamn right. That's like on Harry McCleary and Slinky Malinky. You don't know them. It sounds awfully weird coming out of my mouth, then, doesn't it? it does. It's a children's book from New Zealand. Gotcha. That makes sense. So no, we had Harry McCleary. Harry yeah. McCleary. Yeah, I had Harry McCleary. And yeah. and and the thing from the something from Donaldson Dairy, Donaldson's Dairy, and then Slinky Malinky was this promiscuous little black cat. Wow. Oh, okay. No. Meow. Okay. Meow. All right. Okay. Anyway, Willow <laughs> saved his diabetic owner's Good life. on you, Willow. Well done. Um, and then this one. The headline reads, oral sex is now the main cause of throat cancer. Cut this. We don't need anyone knowing that. Cut it. Cut it from the pod. Hey, just cut this. Isn't that wild? One of the main causes of throat cancer. She's just joking, Steph. She's just joking. That's not true. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what a fun it's joke story that Lou just told on the podcast. It's April Fools. April Fools. <laughs> and then one more. One more for Lulu Go Surfing. Did you see that there was a house that sold on the um, coastal walk in Sydney at Tamarama? For $50 million. I was hoping you'd bring this up. And you won't believe the view from the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <laughs> laugh. This has fucked me off beyond repair. 50 million smackaroonies. Can I be honest? If you're the bloke that bought that, you got more money than fucking cents. That house, if you plop that house in the bush, that's a $400,000 house, right? If you if you're paying fifty, if you're telling me that view is worth fifty million dollars, it's a fucking ocean. No, but it all looks the fucking same. You're a fucking idiot. The, you the, know what the, he'll do? Develop it. He'll make it into apartment blocks, and then but the you, view. Surely you can't. Well, he could make it into a three story. Yeah. You reckon? I reckon, and then the views. That's. But is it that know? not a heritage house or something? Like, can he do mm. it? Hold fire. Because. Mate, I just this is what fucks me off about this shithole city. It's a hun- 1,100 square metre property, 180 degree view up and down the coast. Who gives a fuck? You know, by like in 10 years' time, our windows will probably give us whatever view we want. You know what I mean? You could be looking like you're fucking living on the Great Wall of China or you're living like you're in the fucking Alps. It was built in 1924. Doesn't say anything about... Heritage. Updating it. 100-year-old house. 100-year-old house made a red brick. Fucking, what, how many bedrooms? Three bedrooms. 50 million. Do you know this couple in bloody wherever the other day, could your Tamarama, bought a place for $5.85 million. And guess what they described it as? A doer-upper. It was a doer-upper. For five point fucking nearly six a million. A doer-upper. They're, they're like... A lucky couple just bought a property in uh, Kuchi for six million. It's a lovely little doer upper. I'm like a doer upper. A doer upper. Can't. If I'm spending six million bucks on a house, it would want to have like. I want a state. Pardon? Like a like a like New South Wales. Oh right. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah yeah yeah. Like, and I don't want to have to do up anything. If I'm dropping six million, I want it perfect. Move straight and drive Gianni into the garage, and then pop Kevin on his bed. Yep, and not nothing do or up or about no. it. This is why this city's fucked. This Calm city down. is fucked. 
we're, we'll all move to Walker one day. Tamworth is where my fucking sights are set. The big guitar. The golden guitar. The big guitar. The golden, golden guitar. Is but there, like, dude, 50 million, dude, for a fucking little house. How shitty many zeros house. is that? It's eight. Seven? Seven. It's yeah. a lot. Seven. Thanks, Steel. <laughs> Dior had to hold his fingers up two to us like And we had children. to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're clever. Um, In that wild. 50 million. The owner was a 63-year-old woman called Mrs. Griffiths. Griffiths has crushed it. Who bought it? You have to be a billionaire. More money than sense, mate. Fucking, if you bought that, you're not allowed to own a TV. You can never watch telly. You've got to watch your shitty fucking view of the ocean that all looks the same. I think it was sold by the guys from Lux Listings. Oh, fair income. Fuck, that's just dumb. What a fucking... 50, the view does look good, though. Who gives a Wouldn't fuck? Wouldn't mind a barbecue there. Show me the view. Wouldn't mind being invited to that. The ocean looks all the, it's all the same. Wouldn't mind being invited. you got a panorama there. Who gives a fuck? 180 can, degree view. Fuck, that doesn't mean anything to me. You've also got like people walking past every fucking day. Correct. Of the day. It's Not on a private. fucking boardwalk. Not private. 50 million? Mate, do you know what that can get you in the bush? Uh, that could get you Tamworth. You'd buy Tamworth. You could buy the big guitar. You probably could. You probably could. Yes, yeah. you could. You, you buy could, the long yard. You could put a couple of coffee shops in there, like I suggested. Okay, buddy, we're not getting back into this, are we? We never heard from the mayor. That's it was shocking. We never. I thought it. he might have. I thought he might reach out. Again, Tamworth Mayor, I've got a business idea for you. She wants to gut the golden guitar and chuck a coffee not shop. Gut it? Just well, have a little peephole. Yeah, correct. A gl- little hole of glory. A little coffee. A little glory hole. Would you call it the glory hole? I'd call it the big guitars coffee shop. But it'd be a nice glory hole. It'd be a hole of glory, wouldn't it? What's the middle of a guitar called? The circle. Glory hole. Oh. That's why it'd be a glory hole. So it'd be like Lou's glory hole. Yeah, that's got a nice... No. I it, like it. Uh, what? Lou's glory hole? Yeah. Mm. What? I don't know. <laughs> I'm unsure. <laughs> Something buzzing in the back of your brain. Yeah. It's time for Hanjo and A little echo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. Jack out shell. Oh, Let's right. go. Okay, this guy said, let's start a server for people who. Beautiful. Best of luck of finding your perfect match. I may not be for you, but thanks for looking anyway. I'm a quiet taste and like the marmite of men, I suppose. Either love me or hate me. Best of luck. God bless you. It was the kiss for me. Oh. I didn't mind it until the... <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked me off. Jake <laughs> took his headphones off. He's that done. in my fucking head, in my ears. That bullshit. That's fucked me off. I didn't mind it until the... <laughs> love me or hate me. I'm the mama to man. Love me or hate me. Uh, God bless you. I just would love to be a fly on the wall when people record these. Yeah, same. It'd be so good. It's like, have you seen that video of all those fucking goobers on TikTok with their fucking shirts off doing those dance? Like, it's a bunch of blokes and one the of their scene. mates films them and they're going up to the camera each going, hey, would you like to be yeah. in mine? Or whatever. And you're just like, bruh, and then you're then an you, adult fucking male. Some people will get the other angle, like up from their apartment block or whatever. Yeah, I suppose we could be victim to that when we're like outside filming. People took photos of us. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, yeah, we're the same fucking goobers, so don't worry about it, boys. Keep doing that shirts off bullshit. (coughs) This guy has said my greatest strength. (laughs) So So, this is a weird one, but um, I obviously hunt all the time, and my biggest strengths are turkey calls. And I'll do one for you right now. Yeah, turkey. Come here, turkey. Yeah, here, turkey. Back, 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 back. There's a lot of those going on. I around. like them. I knew what was coming, so I started to giggle, but I just love it. That, that's not the first one I've played similar to that. Yeah, it gets me every time, though. The, the, I kind of yeah, like them. Turkey. Yeah, get here, turkey. Come here, turkey. <laughs> 
<laughs> Holy dooly, that is good. Mm. That is fucking funny. Okay. Oh, that's the kick. So sorry. This guy has said, what if I told you that? There's probably... Sorry. That's fine. We're pieces of shit. There's probably cooler guys on Hinge. There's probably hotter guys on Hinge. But there's not a single one out there that would treat you like I will. If I was your man, baby, do you never worry about what I do? I'd be coming back home to you every night, doing you right. You're the type of woman that deserves good things. Fist full of diamonds, hands full of rings. Silent. Baby, you're a star. I just want to show you you are. You should let me look. I don't know what that bit at the end was. <laughs> that was the response from all women who heard that. I didn't mind it. <laughs> I did, yeah. I thought it was funny. <laughs> no, I didn't mind it either. Yeah, I can just imagine him sitting at home probably like hungover. And, and it, his bed just been like, this is funny. Yeah, I like. This is a giggle. It's, it, he was singing it like he was reading the lyrics while he sung it. Yes. You know what I mean? Which makes it even funnier. Yeah, correct. No, I, like, I didn't mind that one. Okay, one more hint you I like him. Friends on me. If you're willing to date an older man, you're kinky and submissive. oh, oh. oh. I may have upped the old hinge to 70. <laughs> just to find a few. <laughs> just for the pod content. Just for the pod no, content. Ja no, Jack. <laughs> You're not kinky and submissive. That's it. It's like fine for that to be, but just don't post it on your hinge, bro. Just bloody. Not everything needs to be out there. No. Save that for. Like chats among your date. Yeah. Second or third date. A few dates in. What are you into? H have your first date, go out for dinner, perhaps share a couple of pinots. Share a couple of pinots. Maybe some hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. And then say sayonara. Second date, something similar. Maybe maybe a cup of tea. Cup of tea. Maybe some scones. Some scones. And then third date, maybe jump into the kinks. Yeah, get into the BDSM on the third date. I agree. You know what I mean? I agree. Kinky and submissive is a third date thing. Not I agree. A, not a pre date. We've kink. always said that. I've always. I've got that tattooed on We've my life. We've always said third date. Yeah. Sub kinks. Submit me. Yeah. Third date kinks. That's tattooed on my lower back. I thought it was. Yeah. Well, you remember. Uh, should we do the hotline? Yeah. <laughs> Ready, Lulu? Yes. Okay. Bed with a hotline. Why are you giving me that look? I don't know. I didn't even know I was giving you a look. I, I order. <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> like Simpsons? Old cartoons. Isn't it? Doll. Homer? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bed with a hotline. Let's see what your mongrels have got for us, eh? Yeah, give it to me. Right. This is for all the fucking people that call up on the hotline and they talk like they're fucking... I fucking... Now I can't talk fucking properly. Fucking speak! I think I starred the wrong one. Unprepared. Jack. Evans. Can't. You just did fucking 45 of the wrong fucking engine notes Don't in a row. Don't start with me. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Lou. Bed with a sweetheart. Bed with a sweetheart. Oh. Why are you order? Why are you order? Doll. <laughs> Doll. Wait, which fucking? Hold on. Oh, no. I'm so unprepared. Hey, George and Lou. I just started listening to the podcast uh, last <laughs> Monday. This is a This is an actual nightmare. Okay, hold on. Let me just fucking... We are so unprofessional. I don't I, know why anyone listens. I've started the wrong... Anyway, let's just go for it. Okay, just go. Hey, George and Lou. I just started listening to the podcast uh, last Monday, and I'm on episode 18 now. It's currently Wednesday, so I will guess I hear my hotline call... Um, Next week. Anyways, just wanted to let you know yes. that you've got listeners in the Netherlands. Uh, just keep being yourselves and uh, bed wet for life. Oh, you oh, fucking yeah. sweetheart. Sweet angel. That's a real tug at the heart yeah, I like stuff. that. That's not, let's get some more nice ones like that. Fuck you, bed wetters ripping into us. <laughs> just Mate, that was grass. Netherlands. Fuck yeah. Mm. Thanks for calling. The boss. Netherlands. Okay. Oi. Judge. G'day, mate. Luke, cheer brother. Uh, so I just listened to the recent potty. Love the costumes, by the way. Thanks, man. Uh, just touching on Lou's outfit. 
You mentioned that uh, it's a bad costume because you can't sit down anywhere or talk to anyone. But I'd argue that would be perfect for the potty. Not being able to hear you snort and sing every fucking week? Fantastic. Also, why the fuck are you so toned in? I thought all us Kiwis were supposed to be good singers. Exhibit A. The moon shines over my horizon. She's a slice of heaven. Slice of heaven. <laughs> fucking nailed it. Anyway, true boys. Well, he's got a... What? He's right. Yeah. Perhaps all us Kiwis are just really arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, starting to look that way, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so my name is Lachlan. I'm 15 years old. And I thought it would be a, um, okay, well. a lovely idea to tell you that um, when I was in New Zealand for the first uh, eight years of my life, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm actually fucking taking the piss. <laughs> that that was testy there at the start. <laughs> this is the danger. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> oh, this message bank doesn't even confirm if it's uh, your podcast. So if this is some random number, how you going? <laughs> you made it. Anyway, stop losers. Ah, uh, red light, green light, four years. You know that merging lane um, that some people rip up to the very tip of it and then merge in at the last second? Red light, green light. I reckon they're all fuckwits. The only person I let in, if you're going to do that, is a tradie. Yeah. Because I reckon tradies work pretty fucking hard for their money and they, uh, they're on a bit of a timeline, got to get to jobs, and their back probably hurts so they can merge in. And Bucky's because they keep Australia rolling. Correct. Any, anybody who is not any of those two categories, fuck right off. I don't let them in. I'll just sit there and I just oh, look forward and I love her passion. I love her. Steering wheel, listen to a bit of tunes, whistling away, maybe even do a little bit of a fake laugh. <laughs> like I'm listening to something hell funny. Uh, obviously not your podcast. Right. And uh, yeah, yeah, no fucks given. You're not getting in. I hate that. Anyway, Dior's got a hot voice. Uh, I like to hear more of that. Ooh. Oh, get on the mic, baby. If you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyway, guys, fuck off. I've got to change my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Dior, Dior, just give her some, just so she can fucking enjoy her little car. I'm going to farm my baby. Oh. Going to hold Ooh, her tight. There he is, baby. <laughs> I agree, I agree with her. Do you know that happened to me yesterday? It's annoying. Yesterday that happened. Driving yeah. home, this fuckwit in a huge Mercedes, straight up to the front, yeah, and, and then, then was like, let, let me in. And I was like, oi, none of you cunts let him in. Fuck yeah. him. The fuck only him. way that is acceptable is if you've gone, fuck, I'm in the wrong lane. I actually need to be in that one. Like, it's a mistake. But it's can't, but when it's, when that lane I'm is closing up. I'm only saying that, Judge, because I'll be reading maps and sometimes be like, Whoa. Okay. I'm meant to be in that lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. my. That's the only way it's allowed. Okay. All right. Yeah, through accident. Yeah. Um, righto. Yeah. That's us. That's us done. Thanks for listening, Beard. We're so sorry about the technical difficulties. Well, we it's are, just life these days, isn't it? We are idiots. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Follow us, TikTok, um, Instagram, at we mean well, at Jarchi89, at Louisa Dalden. Love you guys and keep bloody pissing. Keep pissing. Ciao, ciao. Hooroo. Hooroo. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> See ya.